much like the other video sorry for the low lighting webcam quality i'm in between webcams at the moment but i wanted to talk about the airpods these are the third gen airpods i'm gonna go ahead open them up take one out which is surprisingly no harder than you'd think to do while looking at it. They're airpod, third gen, pretty average. You put them up against your phone for the first time, like this is my iPhone 14 Pro. Put it up against it, open it up. They pair, you know, just like all other Apple magic type stuff, seamlessly pair. But, are they worth it in 2023? These are the AirPod Gen 3s. They aren't the Pros or the Pro 2s. They're the Gen 3. They cost me about $200 at launch, if I'm not mistaken. And honestly, they have served me pretty well. What's cool is they're the third gen that came out with the magnetic case, so I can actually put the case on the MagSafe charger for the phone, and it will actually charge that way. So that's honestly pretty cool but out of all the stuff so far that i've actually mentioned you know talked about if it will fit in 2023 the you know i've talked about the apple pencil i've talked about my apple watch definitely check both of those out if you wish links in the description below to both of those but i the reason i bring up those because out of all three of the things that two i just mentioned in this this is the one i'm questioning the most its existence don't get me wrong i use them from time to time they are pretty cool. They do actually have, like, buttons on them. It's very hard to see. I actually have to explain to, like, my mom and even my sister all the time that there are buttons. You can actually press them. They just don't feel or look like normal buttons but they are there and you know overall i would say if you're looking if you're looking for a pair of wireless headphones earphones rather earbuds that can seamlessly pair up with your apple device and you're part of the apple ecosystem one of the biggest pros for this would be seamlessly pairing to your phone. Like literally just put it next to it and open it. It works with the Mag charger, that's a plus. And I currently have a Mac as my main editing machine and streaming machine. So it easily seamlessly Paired up with my Mac as well. Now the question is, are these worth it in 2023? Opposed to just getting the newest ones that are out. And I would say, overall, yeah. It could be a good Christmas present for anyone who's using the you know not even non-apple devices i actually 
compared these to my sister's. My sister actually had an Android phone at one point. I paired these to her Android phone because contrary to popular belief, these can actually be paired to just about anything that have a Bluetooth thing on them. Now, it's infinitely easier to pair to like an iPhone or Mac. You literally just have to open them, put them in your ear. Speaking of putting them in your ear, sound quality, since these are the Gen 3, they do support surround sound, but surround sound is for the most part as far as surround sound, the way Apple does it, it's mostly supported by Apple Music, which is why I mentioned the whole Apple ecosystem thing. So, these, what you get in the thing, of course, this green light, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is green, indicates that they are fully charged, and I could take them out, I could leave them in, you know, now my, <laughs> I'm gonna put them back in because you guys can't see it, but I literally got a notification on my Mac just now saying, your Mac, your AirPods are now connected to the Mac, so. <laughs> Yeah, and this has, it has skin detection as well, meaning that when you take it out of your ear, it would detect that it's taken out of your ear. It's called ear detection, but I said skin detection because technically it detects, you know, your skin when it's not touching skin versus when it's touching skin. It's, so yeah, overall, like I said, if you want some good wireless earbuds, you are in the Apple ecosystem. Technically, this will work on Android and whatnot as well, but I feel like the biggest sell of this is it just makes it easier because seamlessly sync up to all of your Apple stuff. So yeah, and even running and stuff, I feel like it's not real bad. Now, Gen 3 does not have, um, you know, noise isolation or the fancy, what's that mode called, when you can seamlessly go back and forth between listening to music, but also hear your surroundings. Well, it doesn't really have that. In fact, I would say the, one of the most annoying parts is I always have to, when I have these in my ear, have them at a lower volume. So in case someone starts talking to me, I'm not just like nodding my head like, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, overall, I would say do a little bit. I don't regret buying them. Now, it wasn't 2023 when I bought them, but I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. I mean, if someone is like, hey, you know what? Here, here's a coupon for a free pair of the latest, newest, and greatest AirPods. All you have to do is Nothing. They were all yours. Then, yeah, by all means, I'll upgrade. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find these on Amazon if you wish to purchase them or whatnot. And yeah, with that said, let me know your thoughts. If you have AirPods already and let me know if you think they're worth it in 2023 or not. Comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.